to collect or not to collect? That is the ultimate question that we have as collectors. Guys, welcome back. This is Daybreak748, and today we are going to be taking a look at the Digimon franchise from SH Figuarts slash D Arts. Now, first thing I want to just just say is this. Thank you so much for showing me all that love and support for this new segment that I'm doing. The first video that I released for this segment, the Power Rangers Legacy Collection, it was a great success and it's all thanks to you. You guys watched it, you guys commented on it, and it was just a blast. I loved the feedback, I loved the comments. It was just great. I love doing this. So guys, I hope this video right here, if you are into Digimon and you are kind of on the fence, hopefully this will kind of sway you to either collect or not to collect. So here we go, let's get started. The first two things that I want to take care of right off the bat is this. These figures right here that you see on screen, they're not cheap figures. These are all import figures and because of that, you're going to be paying anywhere for Omega Mon, Chaos Duke Mon, the two Imperial Germans, the War Grey Mon, or the Metal Guru Mon. You're going to be paying anywhere from $40 to $80. Yes, $40 to $80. That's really expensive. And then you have the odd one right here. This guy, Alpha Mon, yes. He goes anywhere from $150 to $200, which is insane. Would I pay that much? Absolutely not. But I'm just telling you what I've seen on eBay that he's going for. So with that said, this might not be for you if you're strapped for cash. If you have some kind of wiggle room with your finances and you really like Digimon, then hey, maybe stay tuned. Pay attention. If you guys like what you see, then pick it up. If not, move on. So here we go. That's that. The second thing I want to just talk about is the following. The history behind the D Arts and SH Figure Arts. Because you might be like, wait, so is it two different companies that are doing this? Or is it just one? What's going on? Well, originally, D Arts was the ones that took care of the Digimon franchise. Now, D Arts, for those of you guys who did not know, is... In the same company that SH Figuarts is under, but SH Figuarts, they dealt with more of the humanoid characters, while D Arts took care of like the Pokemon and the Digimon and the likes. So that's that. Now, just recently, SH Figuarts and D Arts, they decided to just kind of merge together. So now they're all just under the heading of SH Figuarts. So with that out of the way, here we go. The pros when it comes to this franchise is this. Since we're paying a higher price point, we can expect the following. A, better sculpt. B, better paint job. C, awesome articulation. D, accessories off the wazoo. And E, fun factor through the roofs. So, as you guys can clearly see, I have all of these characters here and just showcasing War Greymon right here. Look at that. The attention to detail is just spot on. He looks like he just came out of the anime and he's ready to battle. The chrome finish that you see on his claws right here, that is something that you would not normally see on a regular Marvel Legends figure, stuff like that. The attention to detail when it comes to just the sculpting, the painting, you name it, he just looks fantastic. And that's what you can expect for all of these figures. So that's pretty cool. Now, when it comes to the paint job, you guys can see it. Looking at Metal Garurumon right here, the shading that is done all throughout the figure, the different shades that they use, the different color metallic paint that they use, the crisp line work that you see for the actual paint, it's just immaculately done. It, look at it. I mean, it speaks for itself. The shading right here, 
the shading on this metal piece right here. There's some figures that have like the damage on them, but it's meant to be there. So that's pretty freaking amazing. So that's that. When it comes to articulation, look at that. The jaws all move. The head can look left, can look right, can look up, down. The These joints, these wing pieces are on a little hinge joint right there. So you can maneuver it whichever way you like. These pieces right here, they're sculpted nicely. They're very sharp, so as you guys can tell, this is not meant for kids. They're meant for more adult collectors, uh, hence the price point. Even these piston pieces or these wire pieces, they m move accordingly whenever you maneuver the legs. So that's pretty cool. Articulation is there pretty much for every one of these figures. So that is freaking amazing. Now, we talked about sculpt, we talked about paint job, we talked about articulation. Accessories. Look at it. Alphamon comes with this gigantic axe. He comes with many different interchangeable pieces. He comes with a cape that he you see that's on him at this point in time. Uh, he has these little thrusters on the back. If you look at Imperial Jermon, depending on which one you get, this one comes with the blaster that you can put on his chest. The blaster is actually right here right now. He comes with the wings. He comes with an awesome display base. And yeah, they just look fantastic. For Chaos Dukemon, you get his awesomely amazing shield. You get his lance. You get this plastic cape. Now that's actually something I want to talk about before we move on. And it is this. The D-Arts version of certain characters and the SH Figure Arts versions of some of these characters, they kind of vary. The paint job might vary because it's different release times. So they might have used one paint at this point in time and then another paint the other time. And some other things that you can see that are different. For example, this one right here, the Omega Mon. If you get the D-Arts release for this guy, you're going to get a plastic cape. If you want the cloth cape that you see that mine has, then you're going to want to get the SH Figure Arts release. Now I know Chaos Dukemon over here also has a D-Arts release and uh, he actually has different color. You can get him in red or you could get him in blue like you see here. So there you have it. There's little differences here and there but for the most part the overall quality, the theme, it's all just there. So now we've talked about pretty much everything that's great about these figures. Articulation, you can get these guys articulated any way you like and uh, they come with the display base so you can display them whichever way you like. The sculpt looks so great that it looks like they just pretty much brought it out of the anime and just looks great. The accessories, as you guys can clearly see from all of these figures, but even that one right there, Omega Mod, he comes with the translucent, um, I guess, characters that's on his shoulders. And that's something they didn't need to do, and yet they did, because they kind of go way over the top with these types of figures. War Greymon comes with his meteor attack I forgot what it was called and so does Metal Garurumon he comes with his blast his atomic blast or whatever it was called and it just looks phenomenal so now that we've taken a look at the pros there's two major major gripes the first gripe I've already spoken about it it's the price point these figures are not cheap, so even if you are a Digimon fan, the casual Digimon fan might not be able to pick these guys up. Why? Because they are pretty expensive. The second is this. The figures have a lot of very, very, I guess, thin plastic. This is not at fault to SH Figure Arts or D Arts. It's actually just the way that they are designed. For example, Omega Mon, he has the little, I guess, the head crown piece, and I'll just bring him in real close so you guys can see it. So you ready? This piece right here, 
this horn piece, this piece right here, the part that these translucent pieces are connected to, yeah, they can snap at any point. If you, this guy tumbles, takes a fall, then I can definitely see that snapping. Even the sword right here, it's a thicker plastic, but you can definitely snap that. Another thing to note is the fact that because of the design of the Digimon itself, uh, he feels very, very just brittle. Uh, the joints, as you can see, he literally has no stomach. And that's not, once again, fault to SH Figure Arts or D Arts. It's just that's how Omega Mon was designed. And so they wanted this to be a accurate representation of the actual character so that's what they had to do so stuff like that i think that's where you need to be a little bit on the worrisome side when it comes to collecting these if you're that type of collector or that kind of person who really enjoys playing with their figures then this might not be the line for you why because a it's expensive and b I can definitely see it snapping if you're not careful. If you're like me, you get these figures in some awesome dynamic poses and then you like to kind of put them in your display case, look at it from time to time and then switch up the pose maybe a month or two later, then this is definitely for you. But like I said, you need to be on the careful side. I would not recommend this for any kid. I would recommend this to a serious adult collector or doesn't need to be adult, but anyone who can really just control their, I don't know, and their wantingness to just kind of run around and play with these things. So that's that. All right. And the last thing that I want to talk about is this. These figures have been out for quite some time now, and the SH Figure Arts slash D Arts it's now just really SH Figure Arts. They haven't really released any new figures, and that's a little worrisome. For me personally, I've gotten pretty much every single character that I've wanted. I mean, yeah, sure, I would want all the other main Digimon characters from Season 1, but if they called it quits here, I would not have any regrets of purchasing this because they look fantastic together, as you guys can clearly see. But if you are a fan of, let's say, Angelmon or Angel Woman or any of the other Digimon out there, and uh, yeah, then you might not ever get it. And that's the one thing that I'm a little concerned about when it comes to this franchise, but I do have lots of hope. Why? Because these figures are awesome and that uh, Digimon is not going away anytime soon. Digimon Tri is actually coming back on. Um, the next movie, I guess, is coming, or I don't know if they still call it a movie, but next set of Digimon Tri episodes that's coming out very, relatively soon. So I can definitely see them giving us some more characters in the near future if they wanted. Now, SH Figure Arts, they're kind of going a different direction and so that's why I'm a little concerned but hey I still have high hopes because SH Figure Arts did not come out and say hey we're done with the Digimon line nope they did not say that so once again I am hoping for some more figures but look at this this looks freaking badass so if you're okay with these guys I'm missing one character just letting you know and some alternate versions of these guys but for the most part, I have all of them. I'm missing that one. And it's Bezelmon? Bezelmon? I don't know how to pronounce his name, but that's the one I'm missing. But other than that, yeah, there you have it. With that said, guys, if you have any questions, concerns, leave it in the comment section down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you're new to this channel, welcome. If you guys enjoyed what you saw, please subscribe and leave a thumbs up. And yeah, let's talk. If you guys have any questions, anything you guys want to ask me about this particular line, let me know. And with that being said, this is Daybreak748, and I'm once again signing out. Peace out, guys.